effective reading strategies for struggling readers. Now in, in uh, day one, we have covered what are the causes for challenging conditions of reading, how, what are the different strategies you can help the child with and today I will be giving you more strategies to help children with struggling readers. So this, the slide number 8 is all about LSRW, my favorite and why in every remedial session we should have LSRW. I have seen that when teachers work on reading problems, you directly go to reading. Let me tell you, no uh, language can be taught to a child without LSRW, listening, speaking, reading and writing. When a child is born, they first listen. After about 9 months to 1 year, they start making sounds, that is speaking. And parallelly with their eyes, they start reading. That means recognizing the face of the mother, the father, the objects. And slowly, they start identifying many objects by the time they reach 2 or 3. And then, nowadays, very early, we are starting reading with children. And that's the time in preschool, you are introducing alphabets. And that's reading. And suddenly, without giving enough time, we start writing. This is the biggest mistake our school systems are doing. Writing is, is of course started last, but suddenly writing is given too much of importance. We are forgetting the child is not prepared for writing without reading. So, children who are weak in reading are purely because we have not spent enough time on helping the child read and to help the child read the child must be exposed to that language that is listening and speaking and that is why when they learn mother tongue it happens so naturally but it doesn't happen in English because there is not enough listening in the classroom. Though we call our schools English medium schools but it is unfortunate that in pre-primary and many classrooms the teachers still speak either vernacular or Hindi and and the justification the teachers give is the children don't understand the English language, so how can I speak? And my answer to that is if the child's parents are suddenly transferred to US and the child has to be admitted in the school at age 4, will an American learn a Punjabi, Gujarati, Marathi, Marwadi to make sure this child understands? And if the answer is no, then why are we doing it? Why are we carrying the vernacular language in our English medium schools just to feel that our children will get, will not understand English? How will they understand a language till they don't listen? So, for any remedial program to happen or for any child to do a better reading, they must have a lot of opportunities to listen. And the only person the child listens to with focused attention is a teacher. We don't expect our parents to be English speaking. Not even 3 to 4 percent of Indian population parents are still English speaking. And why should they? The mother tongue is what the language the child should speak. So, all our teachers must be speaking a lot of English in classroom, speaking English to them and expecting the children to repeat the words that you are speaking. Once this vocabulary is developed, the child will be finding reading much easier because they would have heard those words already. And now it is only a matter of phonemic awareness that is letter sound association. When that letter sound association happens with the familiarity of words that they have heard, reading becomes easy, isn't it? And once reading is mastered, when I use the word mastered, they are fluently able to read well. That is the time writing needs to be introduced. Well, I know. If you are a teacher of a CBSE, ICSE, IB or any other board school, you will not agree because you will tell me that yes, but the schools have, the school management does not go this way. I understand, I was a principal of a school. But when I took the, when I was made responsible and I understood this idea, I tried to push writing to much lesser time per day. That means, if the child is in my school for 4 hours or 4 and a half hours, Maximum time I would ask the teachers to work on LSR, whether it is environment, whether it is maths, whether it is drawing, whether it is anything, storytelling, LSR, work on LSR. The maximum they worked on LSR, 
their W started becoming strong. Because what is W? W is only copying an image. For a child, alphabet A to Z are images. They are just copying one more image. It's like a drawing to them. So once they are familiar with letter and sound, copying an image isn't difficult. And if you spend less time on writing and start it late, my research says they learn it much faster. To conclude, I would say that if you are a remedial teacher, a tuition teacher, a tutor, focus more on these three skills, automatically their reading will improve. This is my personal experience and I it's not for age not only for children of age 3, 4, 5, I have done it with 12th graders too. When 10th and 12th graders used to come to me with reading struggles, I would first work on their LSR, LS. And how would I do that? Make them listen to TV, make them listen to the audios, make teachers record their voice and make them listen to the chapters even before they started reading. Ask them to see documentaries. In English, show them documentaries because now through technology you can do everything in your remedial sessions. And this helped me to build my children's vocabulary. This helped me to bring confidence about various topics they could speak of. And this helped me to con bring them confidence in making them read. Obviously, when they are able to read more, they have more content to remember. And that's what helped them to write. What is writing all about? It's about converting your thoughts and ideas into into written script but if you do not have thoughts and ideas and if you do not have enough reading that you have done in life you will not be able to write an essay a paragraph a story or anything related to that so work on your lsrw thank you so much and now i see you in the next slide